Hello my lovely Trails fans, welcome back to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Okay, um, so I did a little bit of backtracking uh, back to this first area here, because uh, I've just realised I actually forgot to check out this area, and there is a chest. So, not the most important thing, but if you're looking for the chest, then there was one here. No, give it back, that was my spleen! Uh, never known smelling salts to be part of someone's spleen, but okay then. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and just eliminate these guys. Get rid of them right quick. Starting to get faster now, which is good. As they level up, they'll continue to get faster. Alrighty, so let's make our way back over here again. We'll start taking a look around here. Bulletin board. Report on heightened city security in recent years. There have been a notable increase in crime in less populated areas of the city, such as the Factoria blocks. As a result of this, heightened security measures were introduced, and while some citizens may have experienced some inconvenience as a result, those measures were designed to have the least impact possible on individual freedoms. However, despite these measures, the crime rate continues to increase. The council therefore asks that citizens cooperate with a number of restrictions. The following will apply to all citizens. Terminal use will require personal gospel ID checks. Periodic inspections will be performed in all blocks. Civilian access into the access pillar is restricted. This heightened security may result in some inconvenience for citizens, but these measures are designed to ensure the safety of all residents in our first city. We hope you understand and will offer your complete cooperation. Liber Arc Security Division. Doesn't look like there are any chests in there. That looks like a, an elevator. Can't um, wait until I can one hit these with these art abilities. Okay, we can check out the Bobcat. They destroyed that place, so I can't go in there now. Let's have a look, see what's inside. Place is completely trashed. Oh, and it works too. So we've got some healing here. If we don't want to head back to the R cell, that is very handy. We'll go inside this big building over here. Got some more terminals that we can check out. Some chests over there. Welcome to the Cradle Municipal Office. This office is currently outside normal service hours. Persons with business are asked to select direct service from the automated service window in the back. Okay, we can't access those. I guess that's the auto service window. Gold gem. You obtain nothing. Absolutely nothing. S tablet. Let's take all the typos we accidentally left in this game at launch and shove them all in here. Pretend they never happened. Cradle 35 Municipal Office. Access to services limited citizens only due to communication interruptions with the access pillar. Services may be temporarily restricted. Database access. Halo Rail. About the Halo Rail. The Halo Rail is a groundbreaking transit method unique to the Liber Arc, utilizing our powerful spatial manipulation technology. The system projects force field rails as needed, removing all need for physical rails. 
perhaps the greatest advantage of this system is the total lack of restriction on rail placement. It is possible to flexibly connect every one of the city's countless stations directly. The Halo Rail helps carry all citizens to a pleasant, fulfilling city life. Should you have business in other sectors, be sure to make use of it. All Halo Rail station terminals are capable of printing rail passes and offer a host of other services. Of these, the online shop is noteworthy for providing various useful daily items as well as offering many sorts of tickets and passes. Furthermore, in the case that the Halo Rail main service is inoperative, for some reason, users may also engage the station in emergency operations mode as well as open emergency substratum passages at all terminals. Emergency Operations Mode is, as the name implies, the emergency last-ditch operation mode for the Halo Rail service. Should an emergency arise in which power from the Axis Pillar is cut to the Halo Rail, this mode switches the rail to local backup, allowing for semi-normal operation on a temporary basis. As this mode is operated on a station-by-station -station basis, should multiple stations suffer power cuts, emergency operation mode must be enabled at each station or they will not be able to connect. Due to current communication errors with the Axis Pillar, Central, Registrar, all reissued Gospels will be temporary. Please enter the name of the applicant for comparison to the local database. Well, Chloe is an owl sleece. Uh, Celeste, I remember from those data things, I think. I have no idea what's going on here. Please enter your name. Uh, I don't see all the letters here. Did that work? Name match found. Bio pattern 73% match to records. Applicant temporarily recognized as Celeste D. Auslis. Oh, that was the middle name. I got lucky there. Reprinting Gospel. Oh! Whoa! Looks like spatial translocation. Received original Gospel. It's a real Gospel, just as they used in the ancient past. Yeah, the society replicas are amazingly accurate. So we were right, the Celestia Auslis mentioned in the towers was your ancestor, Chloe. They must be. They must have been the one who took charge in leading people from the city. I'm a little surprised the computer thinks we're so biologically similar, though. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's another one for divine providence. Anyway, I sure won't complain about having a gospel in our pocket. Let's take it with us. Good idea. See, I was honestly like just starting to spell out my name when I clicked T. I didn't know what it wanted from me. Um, so we got... Is that like a key item? Original gospel? The society is believed to be using replicas of this. So does that mean like when I access those consoles, does that like give me more information now with the ID check? Uh, checking ID, no match. Okay. Um, anything down here? Oh, we already went down there, didn't we? Uh, so I am probably... Can I open this? It's locked. I'm probably gonna try and head back to the ship. So we can go ahead and make our ultimate weapons now. Now that we have all of the oil that we need. Not oil, ore. Capacity, um, anything new that we can get? Topaz and Emerald Gem. I think those are new. Um, located on the south side of Liber Arc, the Cradle District is the cozy, beloved home of the majority of the Arc citizens. It is comprised of 128 blocks, each with its own Halo Rail station public service buildings, city offices, and event halls, allowing citizens to enjoy everything the Ark has to offer. 
or close to home. As there are vacancies in a third of the blocks due to recent population changes, feel free to inquire about owning another home at the nearest city office. Would you like to activate emergency operation mode? Yes. And I just realized that said like her biological data was like, oh, here it comes. So we should finally be able to use these things, right? I think so. Let's get on and try. Uh, so before I finish my thought, let me go ahead and uh, open up that gate down there. Warning, biodive access pillar. Unlocking the gate will require identification. Present your gospel for ID. Hey, looks like some of the gates are properly locked after all. But yeah, I wonder if we use this gospel we got. There we go. We have access. Locks and gate and station vicinity have been removed. Tunnel is now usable. That unlocked all of them. I remember there was another one at the first gate, but I have no idea how to unlock that. So the, the thought I was trying to finish earlier, so that said that Chloe was like 73% biologically accurate to her like great 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 grandmother or whatever. Is that, have they been like inbreeding like so much that that's why they're still so closely related? Because to me that's like the only way surely that they could still be so closely related if they're just like so inbred. Whoa, that didn't take very long. As fast as it went, there was barely any vibration or unsteadiness either. To be honest, this technology is a bit mind-blowing. No kidding. Still, as nice as it is to go fast, the view was amazing too. I kind of wish it went a bit slower so you could enjoy it. <laughs> it is, unfortunately. <sighs> and of course, this also solves the travel problems we have had. It would behoove us to locate the local rail station as soon as we enter a new area, I believe. Alrighty, let's, let's get down there, get back to the, uh, to the, uh, the RCL. And double check if any more of those, um, things have been unlocked, those data crystals. Ooh, the bridge is repaired. I'll help out around here until you find my brothers. Thanks to the Bobcat, I've got a lot of experience working on ships. It'll be a lot more—I'll be a lot more helpful than a certain someone would be. Gotta say that new girl's good. She's familiar with the tools and has a pretty good understanding of airship maintenance. You brought us someone useful as just at just the right time. Okay, it looks like people may have changed their dialogue options. So let's go ahead and just have a word with everybody, see what they have to say. Repairing the outrigger is going to be a real job. We need to put our heads together and figure something out. The bit on the hull there was called an outrigger. It had a supplementary flight engine and a few other systems in it. In the normal circumstances, there's one on each side of the ship to ensure stability. Unfortunately, our landing sheared our left outrigger clean off. We're doing everything we can to prepare to fly with just one outrigger. So we're going to be building a path here. Once we've got the scrap removed, we'll be asking Faye for help. Phew, we're getting the scrap removed, but only thanks to the help of the bracers. Man though, the bracer dudes have some serious muscle on their arms. We train pretty hard, but they're just on a whole different level. We're going to be moving this large piece of scrap. I have to say, I was rather hoping you'd be here to help with it for once. I'm never one to shy away from the strain of sweat and labour, but alas. My talents are required elsewhere. I shall have to learn of work's sweetest fruits some other time. Funny you should praise the value of hard work only after you've wormed your way out of it yourself. Miss Bright, if you change your mind, remember that you can take him out of your party at any time. I'll take responsibility for him and keep a close eye on him instead. 
We're going to make a passage here so we can more easily reach the back of the ship to repair it. I think it's a good idea since having a way to get to all the parts of the ship easily will help repairs. I'd better put my back into it and get to work. Putting aside the friggin' propeller for a sec, a whole bunch of the parts around here look like they'll be in a ping to collect. Some of them look important though, maybe I should talk to Gramps about what to do with them. There's no way I'll be able to move scrap like this on my own. I mean look at it, it's a solid chunk of metal. Guess I need to ask the braces for help again. Zin is probably doing all the heavy lifting. I don't know if it's because everyone's working themselves to the bone, but we've got a lot of injuries. We ain't much more than scratches, thankfully. Still, you guys be careful out there too, yeah? I don't know how long we'll be here, so I need to make our supplies last a while. You're looking for that bandit lady's brothers, right? Be sure to look over her gear if you're going to take her along. Be sure and check her armor specifically. Gun users have a bad habit of not wearing much in the way of defensive gear. Hmm? You look like a woman with a purpose, Estelle. Yeah, I am sorta. Of. There's something we'd like for you to look at. It's this, specifically. Ah, a data crystal. Hmm. I don't actually see any damage to it. Give me a moment, analysing this shouldn't take long. I see. Incredible. Um, what does it say? It contains schematics for advanced personal weaponry for the Ark residents. They seem to require a specific Zumerian ore in their construction. Zumerian ore? We might actually have some of that. Is it this weirdo hunk of metal we found? How fortuitous! Yes indeed, I believe this is what we need. Well, this makes things easy then. I should be able to make something right away with our equipment now that I have the plans. You do have a choice to make first, however. A choice on what? We have schematics for nine separate weapons here, you see, but the designs require so much metal that I think we can build only one weapon per piece of ore you find. Really? Aw, that's a hard choice then. I'll leave the choice in your hands. Now, what would you like to make first? Ooh, these all sound so cool. Obviously, if you want all of them, you have to complete the game multiple times, but we are going to be going for Estelle's and Joshua's. Right then, I'll get right on it. Alright, it's done. Thanks, Professor. We'll definitely make good use of this. Yes, well, be careful out there, alright? Making a weapon? Right then, I'll get right on it. Two ultimate weapons. And that's all she wrote. Ooh, look at that increase. A mythical glowing staff made from alloying a strange metal. Ooh. Mythical glowing swords made from alloying a strange metal. Ah, everyone, I heard you saved that bandit lass. I wouldn't mind getting my hands dirty with that Rhineford built Imperial airship. I'll have to make time to talk to her in person. We'll be turning the lights back on soon. Right now, we're inspecting the power transmission systems involved. Once that's done, all we need to do is connect the quartz. We'll be able to see again. I can't wait. Anything else decoded yet? Ooh, we've got some more. Lakeside underground facility. In order to make the seal mechanism into a reality, we needed both enormous amounts of energy and massive facilities. We, to source the energy, first thought of using the aureole itself. The aureole responds to people's wishes and gives its boon. In other words, by wishing, we thought that people that perhaps we could pull the needed amount of energy from the aureole. However, that did not come to pass. Shortly after the aureole gained autonomy, it turned to simply one-sidedly bestowing its gifts regardless of the wishes of the people. We could not use the power of the aureole. Casting our eyes beyond the city, we began to consider using the energy sleeping in the septum veins that rest deep beneath the earth. 
and eventually resolved to build atop those. However, we were already under the watch of the Oriole. It seems the Oriole had come to the conclusion that its first priority was the continuation of the city, and therefore the elimination of all potential obstacles to that. So to deceive the Oriole, we proceeded with the construction of these buildings under the guise of monitoring the Septium Veins. The facility was built roughly 500 arch beneath the earth on the eastern side of Valeria Lake. According to our investigations, this was the location where the Septium Veins gathered most efficiently. The land beneath the city was a sprawling primal forest, as it was untouched by human activity, building on top of it proved remarkably easy. We, while avoiding the attention of the Oriole, collected all the technology we had and hurried to complete the underground facility. While the construction of the underground facility was underway, we built additional structures on the fringes of the surface. The Annenberg, whose inner wall points ever towards the Oriole, and the four device towers that surround the Oriole. Each system of structures possessed a critical role in the plan and were as vital to the seal mechanism as the underground facility. So the underground facility is probably the one that was under Gransel Castle. If I was a betting man, that's what I would say. Phew, managed to get an early break. Well, I'll be manning the deck shift in a little while, but still. I made sure to stock up heavily before we left port. I've got more stuff for sale than most stores. You need something? Just ask and I'll see if I can find it. Definitely, uh, yeah, we got that and read it. I wasn't expecting to see the Capua's way up here. I would love to snag a photo of that ship of theirs. But my finely honed reporter instincts are telling me not to be an idiot and wander too far. Well, guess I'll wait and see if an opportunity comes up. The sky is so close, looking at it from here. I kind of feel like it's going to suck me up and carry me away. Please don't fall off the edge, Dorothy. I don't think my heart can take any more random tragedy. Thank you. Shara, are you helping with repairs? Mm-hmm. Professor Russell asked me to inspect the light fixtures. We'll be switching back to normal lighting soon, so... Oh, so we'll be able to see again. That's great. Sounds like repairs are going well. Everyone's working hard, that's for certain. I need to keep the pace up myself to make sure I can keep acting cool and older sisterly in front of you. You're doing fine, Shara. We'll proceed with our investigations with haste. Everyone, I heard you secured the bandit girl. Frankly, normally I would not deign to cooperate with the base criminal. Given the circumstances, however, I have no choice. I have granted her special dispensation to be aboard the ship. We cannot simply throw her back in the snake pit after all. I'm glad to hear that. The bandits seem to be in the same situation we are. We'll do what we can to assist them. Those are orders, after all. If the bandits are here, then their ship should be here too. I might be able to raise them on the radio. I'll give it a shot if I can find the time. Alrighty, let's get back into the thick of things and continue exploring this place. Which means we should go back up here. And then we get back on the tram thing again. Cradle station number 35. And then, of course, we go down again. Now, the store is open. There's some more of these creepy little creatures down here. Oh, I forgot, I don't need to use my most powerful ability.
was not actually paying attention to who leveled up, but it looks like it was probably Olivier. Ooh. This is a big room. Yeah, it was Olivier. Uh, I guess we go left. We weak to anything? Uh, weak to uh, stone hammer. Ooh, that's gonna take a few stone hammers. Oh, I didn't realize there was still one of them left. That's pretty good though, I managed to get rid of them all before they could even put up a fight. Okay, then I guess we go down. Put this to water. Yes, give me all the delicious XP points. Still can't move the camera. Monster chest. Okay, let's go ahead and do some of our attack all moves. Um, it's enemy's weak spot. I'd like to hit everybody, but can't have it all. Um, can't really hit all that many enemies then, I suppose. So uh, just try and weaken some enemies then. Guess for you, we go over Cockitus. Close down chain three, perfect. Hermes gear. Hey, I know you had high hopes for this chest, but it's empty. Don't worry about it though. Maybe the next one will have something great. Let's see what these Hermes gear are about. Men only, ancient defensive footwear makes wear a light as a feather. So defense up, dex and move. Is that better suited for Olivier? Nope, puts his art speed down, so I guess speed goes down, dex goes up a lot, agility goes down, movement goes up. I'm going to go ahead and give it to Joshua. So I think dex. Is dex the ability to hit? I'm only going to fight these once. Um, Dex might be the ability to hit. I can't honestly remember. It's not like there's a tutorial in this game that kind of explains what it all does. Don't know why I did that, but if it means I'm less likely to miss, then I'm all for that. Oh, 
Okay, this is a big round room. Oh, I just ruined that for myself, didn't I? Oh, of course they do no damage, but I don't really want to waste the EP. Okay, nothing that way, so let's go around this way. The stairs that go down. Where are these little fish goons? Chests. Some Sephir. The chest sure is empty. Yep. Briarios. I'm sorry, did you misunderstand something? Only one item per person. Now go away. Celestial Balm. I'm so glad you checked this chest. I'm you from the future and I came back in time and worked on this game so I could warn you about. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I'll have to uh, make sure I don't be as talkative next time I'm trying to send myself a message. Well, we've got Zin's uh, best weapon in the game, except, you know, without getting the ultimate weapon. Just need to get Chloe's and Olivier's. Guess we go through here. Getting to the point where you can kill him in one hit now. That's nice. Okay. Don't know whether to think that this place is getting convoluted or if it's just me. Hopefully, I don't get lost. Enjoy the show. Two chests up there, I want to make sure I get them. Gem, nice. The chest is empty, but the woodwork is impressive. I hope this is where I go for the other chest. Okay, here it was. Celestial Balm. How would you like it if some random chest kept opening to you? Lion's King Sword, that's for a gate. You open the chest to see a man's face just smiling at you. Unsettled, you back away and close the lid. Let's not open that one again. That would be a little unsettling, I have to admit. Hey you, yeah you, stop reading all these chess messages and get on with playing the game. This is all a part of the experience. I'm guessing that's a female. Yeah. Leather shoes sold with green septium for gale-like speed. Okay, so this is another speed one. That might be for her to wear. Yeah, because that lowers the art speed again. Puts movement down a little bit, but again, dex 
and agility go up really high. I just, I honestly just don't know what Dex actually does. It's gotta be like, would it be in here? In like the memo or something? Um, parameters. Oh, okay, here we go. So ATS is magic strength. Okay, so that's actually magic strength. And magic defense. Speed. Less time between turns. Dexterity. Easier to land hits. Agility, easy to avoid attacks, movement, and weapon range. Okay, so I always thought that ATS was like art speed, but it's actually the strength. So yeah, we definitely want that as high as we can get it for Chloe. Um, okay, anything that makes it go higher? What was that? Did I see that go green or something? No. Anything that boosts this ATS? No. Okay. Um, any of these increase? Doesn't look like it. Very good. Just double checking everything here. I don't want to miss any potential good combinations here. Okay, Duende's slippers makes it go up quite a bit. But at the cost of a lot of other things, so I don't think it's really worth it. I did read the- yeah I did. Well that is good to know, that is good to know. It's actually speed, which makes them attack faster. It's not ATS. Oh, I don't know why I did a Shadow Spear. Enjoy the show. I can't believe I got, like, to the end of the game before I actually bothered to try and find out more information about that. It's a little embarrassing. Oh, another one of those big rockfish things. Oh, there's like three of them, that's disgusting. Oh well, let's go for a death scream. Um, really wanna waste that. Um, I do impede cancels arts and crafts. This just attacks. Let's just do that. You let's slow these guys down, and then you use that ability. Close to defeating them. Ooh, just on the outskirts of being able to hit all three. Oh, that will hit. Oh, I just summoned like a demon. Of course, it survives like 184 health. That's that. Let's move out. Typical. That wasn't even a waste of VP because he leveled up from it. Oh, I guess we're out of those tunnels now. So where are we now? Oh, wow. It's some kind of large plaza. 
Right, there's the thumbnail. Industrial block Factoria. Whoa. This definitely looks like an industrial zone. And the buildings, such overwhelming size. The roads are so broad and open too. I wonder what this place was. I think this may be an industrial area. It would make sense if this water is for industrial use. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, let's have a look around. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Okay, so the next rail station is probably going to be a little further up. But I think this will probably be a good place for us to call the episode for tonight. Let's have a quick look down here. Oh, hello. Guess I'm not out of the woods yet. I can't remember if, if they move at all. Looks like they might just cast spells. I guess I'll grab this while I'm here. Omega Craft. There's Titus' gun. At the bottom of the chest you find only crumbs. Briefly wondering how long a chest like this would keep food fresh while you walk away. So yep, I think that's where we're going to call the episode for today, everyone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon. And feel free to leave a comment on the video if there's anything you want to say. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.